battery operated vehicles make your visit to Lalbagh Botanical Garden absolutely hassle free. Time taken to visit the garden around 3 hours. Let's go. Lalbag. It means the Red Garden in English. It is a well-known botanical garden in southern Bengaluru, India. It houses India's largest collection of tropical plants and is one of the main tourist attractions in Bengaluru. Lalbag is also home to a few species of birds. At the heart of the city is Lalbagh, which covers now an area of 240 acres. Many trees that are more than a century old. Lalbagh was commissioned in 1760 by the then ruler of Mysore, Hyder Ali, and was later finished by his son Tipu Sultan. Its focal point, a majestic glass house, built in 1889 to commemorate the visit of the Prince of Wales. It was designed along the lines of the Crystal Palace of London. The majestic glass house hosts two annual flower shows. One is on January 26 and August 15. It is also known to be the pendant in the necklace of gardens in Bengaluru. Hyderabad decided to create his garden on the lines of the Mughal gardens that were gaining popularity during his time. Hyderabad laid out these famous botanical gardens and his son added horticultural wealth to them by importing trees and plants from several countries. Most of the centuries old trees are leveled for the easy identification. This mango tree was planted by Tipu Sultan. This tree is 250 years old. In 1856, Lalbag was given the status of a government botanical garden. It is recognized internationally for scientific study of plants and botanical artwork and also conservation of plants. Lalbag is well connected to the rest of the city. There are regular buses that stop at one of the four gates of Lalbagh. The main bus stand, Kemte Gouda, is only 7 km away from the garden. Visitors can also hire an auto rickshaw or private taxi and reach the park without any trouble. Lalbagh is accessible via all the four gates, while vehicles can enter only via the east gate, which is located towards the double road. It is around 4 km away from Vidhan Shodha, the state legislature. Hence, can club both the visits 
together. The lake is located at the southern end of the garden. It is spread across an area of about 40 acres and has a maximum depth of 3.5 meters. Apart from being a prominent tourist attraction, the lake is also the source of water for the huge number of plants and trees of the Lalbagh Botanical Gardens. Then Superintendent of Lalbagh, James Cameron, was the person who commissioned the lake in 1890 to provide water to the Botanical Garden. The garden premises have various courses on horticulture, post harvest technology, and mushroom cultivation. Beach courses are organized by the Department of Horticulture. Another attraction of the garden is this, the shape of Lord Ganesha on the tree. Lalbagh Botanical Garden acquired India's first lawn clock and the subcontinent's largest collection of rare plants. Lalbag remains open daily from 6 am to 7 pm throughout the year for the benefit of joggers, tourists and fitness enthusiasts. Entry is free from 6 am to 9 am and from 5.30 pm to 7 pm. Entry for school children and the disabled is free all the day. Apart from more than 1000 species of flora and fauna, Lalbagh is home to the Lalbagh rock one of the oldest rock formations on earth dating back to 3000 million years a geological monument for the peninsular nice formation is also a tourist attraction at the garden this monument has been designated by the geological survey of india on the lalbag hill which is made up of 3000 million year old peninsular nicic rocks one of the four cardinal towers erected by Kemtegoda II, also a major tourist attraction, is seen above this hillock. This tower gives the full view of Bengaluru from the top. <laughs> 